We're going to go through the actual activation process right now, and I'm going to do it two different ways. I'm going to demonstrate both the online automatic activation. Uh, then I'll deactivate, and I will activate it for you through the manual activation method, just so that uh, it's well understood. And I'm going to use our test activation key, which only works in our in-house environment. And so you would enter the key that you receive. Normally, doesn't matter if it has the dashes in or not. Normally, you'll probably receive it. You know, where it'll look like this. Whether you put the ad dashes in or not, uh, you'll see that uh, it'll tell you what version you're activating. In this case, DC Print 150i Professional. You'll notice the activation button is grayed out, and I cannot kick click on it. So I do need to click on I understand and agree uh, that once activated, the software key cannot be transferred to another computer unless I first deactivate this installation. The deactivate option is located under settings. Okay, so once the key is in and I have checked uh, the I understand, um, the activate button is now enabled. And so long as you're using a valid activation key that is not in use being used on another computer, I'll click on that. And you'll get an activation succeeded. So I'll just hit OK. And so now what I see down here, instead of being in the demo mode, I do see that my product key activation is shown right here. It's in green. And I could come right back up here and click on connect because I still have all of my uh, data cables connected up. I've and, uh, already had previously set the settings. So if you go in and set up your COM port settings while you're in demo mode, you do not have to do that again once you activate. I can now demonstrate for you the manual activation method. Now then you could uh, work with a second computer or your mobile device or something to make this happen. So I'm going to go from the activate over the internet to the manual activation tab. Put the software key in. It generated what's referred to as my user ID. This is completely unique to your installation, your computer. You just click on copy to clipboard and it's going to tell me that I succeeded. Copy to clipboard successfully. From that point, next step, go to dcprint.me. That'll open up a web page and you're just going to need to copy first your user ID into here. You'll notice that it identifies the computer, tells us about your BIOS, tells us about your processor, your processor ID, and a description of the processor type. Uh, when you're in the activation process, it takes a snapshot of your computer system, and as long as that doesn't change on the computer you're on, your activation will remain valid and it will continue to operate. Okay, once I've got my user ID in here, I will go ahead and get my key again and I'm going to put my key in there. Check this, I understand uh, that after I generate this license activation code it cannot be transferred to another computer. What that means is, is once I use it on this computer which is identified by this user ID showing here is that it won't work on another computer. Um, so let's go ahead and click on that. I now have an activate now enabled button. I'll click on it. Success, I get an activation code. Copy to clipboard and I'll see right here copy to clipboard successfully. Hit OK minimize that. I'll come back to the activation window. Do not close this window or change anything in it until you have copied in the activation code. So I'll click in here and right click and say paste and I'll notice that my activate button is now enabled. And as long as I haven't changed anything I'll hit activate and there we go. I've got my activation product key right here. I have DC print 150i professional version 2 here. Uh, it retained my settings for COM3 and everything, so that's all the same. It will connect. Nothing has changed. Now let me explain one thing to you real quick um, about that process. Uh, let me see here. Settings, DC print. I'm going to deactivate. I want to highlight one thing for you here real quick. If you do need to use a separate computer, then the way you can do this after you copy the clipboard is go ahead and bring up, say, like Notepad and you don't want it to be Word or anything like that. It needs to be a text editor or text, you know, notepad that just saves the raw text and there's no formatting to it. And then I could just save that as and I could put it onto a, onto a memory card or a flash drive or something else that I can then uh, insert into another device, whether that may be my mobile device. So I'm just going to come in here and say DC print in this case and uh, I'm going to just save that to my desktop for you to see it there is my file. Copy that to my memory card or my flash drive so that I can take that to a different computer uh, because this number has to be exact. Take a look how long that is. If you wanted to try to transcribe that by hand you could but it's so many digits and if there's even one digit off it's not going to work. 
So I take this file, transfer it to a flash drive, memory card, put it into my other device, go to the website, dcprint.me. I would in, uh, enter in this, which the, uh, the software key is fine for manually putting it in. And even if you had to come back and put that, I don't know, what is it, 16 or 24 digit activation code into here, that you can manually do. But this one, you really kind of have to copy and paste it between files if for some reason you cannot get internet connectivity to do it on the computer that you're going to activate on. And reactivate and remember once again that I'm sitting here activating, deactivating multiple times. That will not work for you, so this is all for demonstration purposes. Oh, see, here's what you would get. I'll have to go in and <laughs> change this. So if you have activated it two different times and then attempt to do it again, it's going to come up and tell you a maximum number of activations exceeded. Please contact your dealer. So you have to get hold of your uh, dealer that supplied it to you and give them an explanation as to why you have exceeded that activation number and you know what you were doing and what's going on so that they can try to get a reactivation for you.